Speaker, we've now learned from CETA documents obtained through access to information and reviewed by the Minister one year ago that Cairo's objectives are, in fact, quote, strategically aligned with our country program objectives. On September 20 this year, the Minister for CETA, in absolute contradiction of her own department's findings, said, quote, Kairos was recently refused funding as it did not meet the government's priorities. Now that we know the Minister's pretext for the Kairos cuts is false, will the Minister now finally restore funding to this organization? Oh, oh, oh. The Honourable Minister of International Cooperation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Our government's been very clear. We have an international aid effectiveness strategy and we're acting on it. We're getting results for people in the developing countries, and all projects by CETA are assessed against our effectiveness standards. After due diligence, it was determined that Cairo's proposal did not meet government standards. Canadians want to make a difference in developing countries, and that means more food, more education, more help, more security and opportunities for women and girls. The Honourable Member for Growth. Mr. Speaker, you can't hide from the truth. Kairos was described by CETA as being strategically aligned with our country program objectives, and its programming would have benefited 5.4 million marginalized people. Canadian embassies and senior public servants said Kairos should be funded. The Minister for CETA, however, without any explanation, ended 35 years of support by suddenly penning in the word not before the recommended word approve on the report. What really prompted the minister to add the word not to an otherwise glowing recommendation for funding for Kairos? The Honourable Minister of International Cooperation. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. As the House knows that we want to ensure that we are making a difference in developing countries and we are reducing poverty. And we do receive many worthwhile proposals. I want to assure the House and all Canadians that this government will ensure that we are making a difference for those we intend to help. We are accepting and considering proposals from all various people and organizations, including members of Kairos. Thank you.